and really that on a pack of double A's which aren't fully charged is pretty good and that almost um it's going a little orange there like the metal's going orange so that's not too bad it's not as good as lithium but what's up guys I'm back once again with another tutorial in today's tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to make a 4.2 volt nickel metal hard drive battery pack so as you guys can see I have five brand new packs of four um, 2000 milliamp hour AA batteries and um, we got these on sale for three dollars fifty each in AUD which is a steel which is less than a dollar per cell and um, yeah it's just gonna be my little booster pack for my um, electric bikes so I've got one here my electric scooter um, I'll be using obviously hot glue solder um, you know the famous duct tape I'm just gonna throw it in time lapse and uh, yeah So now I just want to go over every cell and see what voltage they are at. It's not as crucial for um, nickel metal hard drive batteries, but um, I want to do it anyway. So 1.28, 1.27, Yeah, so pretty much 1.27, 1.28 across the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Organize them. Another four. I don't know if I can stop them from moving. Then another four over here. That's essentially how the um, pack will be set up. And it'll obviously have 6,000 milliamp hours since there's 2,000 in each one. And possibly seven if I um, add these. Um, yes, yeah, so it should be a nice little voltage booster for my electric bikes. And um, I'll probably throw it in time lapse when I begin soldering all together, gluing it, and uh, you know, adding layers of duct tape around it. So I'm um, stay tuned for that. So I now have the three packs glued together, and um, they're really nice. Um, right, fits really well. Maybe I should have like turned these around so they're all facing the right way, but um. I don't know, mainly for aesthetic reasons. But now I'm basically going to put glue in between here. I'll reconfigure it so these are on the outside for aesthetic reasons. And then also I'll be using some captain tape, I think it's called. Some of this stuff just to um, wrap around the thing a few times. Um, it'll probably make it look, look a lot better than if I just use duct tape. So that's the um, pack nicely glued together. Um, it's not exactly straight, but um, it will do. It's a nice solid pack right now. I'm going to wrap some tape around it. Um, you know, got, get the bus bars, put all, put all of those on. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So we'll get into that now. So I have the pack nicely taped up in um, captain tape and uh, it looks quite nice, looks a lot more uh, professional than it would if you just did duct tape. Um, credit to Renault Super Genius for um, coming up with the duct tape idea. But um, anyway, so it's quite nice. I'm going to put the bus bars on and um, it shouldn't be too hard. And then um, wrap the remaining in captain tape. But uh, it should give it a nice insulation. Also put um, some wires coming up as well. That yeah, should keep it all nice and electrically safe. So now I'm just going to set these on here, like so. It should fit nicely, and then I'll put one here and here, and then three on the other side. And then I'll use smaller versions of this to bridge, aqu bridge across to connect them in series. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'll just um, get into that right now and. Um, yeah, stay tuned.
So I now have all the bus bars connected. So um, yeah, it seems pretty legit. Um, I'm probably going to colour these off and then join them in series to uh, obviously make four-ish volts. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So that's basically the pack done. Yeah, it took like five seconds to do. Pretty easy. And uh, yeah, that's basically um, the whole thing done. I'm going to do a short test and just short these out and see how big the spark is because really this is only a few AA batteries in parallel so it's probably dangerous, shouldn't do it, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to um, clip this onto the bottom where the negative is and then the positive is up the top and I'm just going to short it out. You know, it's not too shabby. So yeah, I'm going to um, put some leads on that and um, probably charge it properly and uh, you know you know, just make sure it's all done and then obviously I want to um, put some like protection over this and then put the captain tape over it and um, that should be the completed battery so yeah it's looking pretty good so I'm just going to um, solder the negative and positive leads on like that so it's not too hard um, yeah so basically that's all connected up now the battery should be fully functional as a nice little battery pack now I just got to put some captain tape on it just to secure it a little bit more so now I've got two plastic pieces here I don't know if you can see those that will obviously go over the top here to give it a, a layer of protection so yeah basically just um give it a layer of protection and allow for no shorts to occur ever unless these two obviously connect together yes yeah, so I'm just going to put that on there and then I'm going to get a layer of captain tape and just uh, wrap that around so um, yeah let's just uh, do that now So that's basically the battery pack done. As you guys can see, it's um, it's really nice and strong. It's uh, very rigid. It can withstand a lot of bumps and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so I may have said earlier it was 6 amp hours. It is actually technically 14 amp hours if you go by 2 amp hours per cell um, with 7 in parallel and 3 in series. So it should be roughly 4 volts. I'm going to confirm that now. And it's about... 3.83 it's kind of like a lithium cell right now um, with how it's wired up and all that so I've got the battery hooked up right now it's still at 3.83 volts um, it's hooked up to my electric bike this is the main battery and then we've got the battery in there uh, all connecting series so it used to be 40 volts fully charged ish and now it's about 44 with this addition of this battery pack and um, yeah so I'll put a bit of a load on by twisting the throttle. So with about that's about twenty percent. Yeah, so about fifty percent that was about it dropped down to about three point three volts, I think it was. So it's um we get onto the road now. And I'll just I think it dropped down to 2.8. Uh, don't forget that these are not charged, so they won't be able to put out their full amperage. Yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, thanks for watching.